How's it going everyone? So I'm out here in the garden area, um, I'm going to be planting some potatoes um, today. Now I know, just like the garlic, I have left it really late, but um, it doesn't really matter that much because it doesn't really need any cold weather um, to help like grow the um, spuds. So I'm going to be growing them differently this year because we don't have a lot of beds set up um, and there's no available like space in the old garden area. I'm going to be growing them in pots and containers this year. So um, that includes some cylinders made from chicken wire, some old pots, and also some containers I've put together my, myself from some old um, ag pipe. So this year I'm going to be growing Dutch cream and sabagos again, as they went really well last year. But this year I'm going to be growing double the amount. Okay, so I have some chicken wire cylinders here um, that I just put together with some scrap chicken wire that we um, had from our like scrap metal pile. Um, so I've got five of these. They can range from holding around two to four seed potatoes. Um, then I have an old large bucket here, a container here, um, that I've used for like ginger and um, other stuff like that. Um, and then also some containers that I made from some slotted ag pipe. Um, cut the lengths into thirds, um, drill some holes into the sides here, one at the bottom, one on top, and then put some of this wire um, through just to hold it together. Um, so this is really more like um, growing potatoes in small spaces despite us having a large property. Uh, I don't have any beds to grow them in as I mentioned before So I'm going to be growing them in pots and just using um, Hay, straw, a bit of blood and bone, a um, bit of manure, maybe a little bit of, a little bit of compost So um, pretty much like a no dig method in containers Okay, so I laid down some black plastic just to stop the um, grass and any other um, invading weeds um, from growing um, up into the containers um, You can also use like newspaper or cardboard because um, they're usually free You can just go to the news agency and they'll give you some old newspapers just for free um, Then also I have got some hay um, Just old hay that we've got um, Some compost um, really broken down um, rolled of compost and also some blood and bone I'm also going to be grabbing some sheep manure as well, but this is like the main um, Sort of ingredients I guess that you need Okay, so this compost was just from an old um, sort of pile that I just dumped it all in. But I had no idea at the amount of worms in this thing. Like, as I was shoveling it, see all the big worms. Like, they're very big worms. Oop, there goes one. Um, try and show some more. Dig through. See, look at all that. They're just absolutely loaded everywhere. Um, as well as their um, eggs, like their cocoons. They've got... Heaps and heaps of these little cocoons everywhere. Um, so I'm really happy with that. And so it's basically a worm farm that I've really got. Um, and so this will help um, see like the potatoes, help the potatoes to grow really well. As the worms, um, these lovely worms will provide um, heaps of castings for them as well. Adding to the fertility. So to plant your potatoes. I just grab a good layer of hay. We've probably got five centimeters so of hay or something like that on the bottom. Let's grab a good shovel full of compost or manure. Spread that round. You want to get your seed potatoes. And you grow them a lot closer than you usually do in the soil. So I'm only planting these ones about 20 centimeters apart. So there's four in this one. You know what? Cover it with some more hay. Get a bit more compost or manure. Spread over the top. You also want to get a good handful of blood and bone. Spread that round. And give it a good water. There you go. Now, as the plants, as you can tell, they're probably only like 15, 20 centimeters um, deep right now. So, as they grow up, you just keep on piling in more hay, like a good layer of hay, thin layer of um, compost or manure, and then just a bit of a sprinkle of blood and bone. Keep the water up, and as they grow, you just cover the stems, and you'll get a lot more potatoes. Okay, so you can actually determine the size of your potatoes when you plant them. For instance, with these seed potatoes, they're covered with lots of these little shoots, like from the eyes. But if you want really big potatoes, you brush all of these off. Like this. 
until you're left with the strongest one or two. This way it only produces like one shoot, which will grow up and produce just that lot of potatoes. So it can focus all of its energy, the entire plant's energy, into producing a few big potatoes. Or if you want lots of potatoes, leave them on and leave on like five or six shoots. That way it produces five or six stems. The plant will produce lots of potatoes, but they'll only be smaller, maybe only like this or even this size. So I got most of them planted, um, all except the 10 seed potatoes. Um, so I'll probably just um, give those away to a, probably a family or plant them somewhere else. Um, so that's, yeah, like I said, most of them are planted, so I'm really happy with that. Um, probably planted over a ki um, two, three and a half kilos. Um, so that is really, really good. I'm hoping for um, at least a kilo per plant, um, just fr from this method. Um, if I get around a kilo and a half, um, at all, that would be spectacular. Um, so these should sprout in about two to three weeks, and then it'll probably be a further four to four and a half months until I can harvest them. Um, so just a quick little advantage as well um, about growing them in this method, um, in containers in this no dig method, is that they are super light. So that's another great um, reason to try it if you're living, um, say like in an apartment building, um, and you have just a small balcony, you can just set one of these up in a corner um, and just plant some potatoes, fill it up with hay or straw or whatever, just a bit of fertilizer, and that way it reduces the weight. Um, so yeah, you know, it's legal sort of to grow them there. Um, that way you can enjoy your own homegrown spuds. Um, so thanks guys for watching. If you like this, please leave a big thumbs up. And if you have any comments, suggestions or questions for me, leave them in the comments box below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And also make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet, um, that way you can just keep, um, keep an eye out and know what's going on in my garden, um, what I'm trying and like what I'm harvesting and what I'm up to. Um, so stay tuned for some more videos, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.